The first thing you do, you're going to service this strut. So the first thing to do is to take the valve cap off the cover, off of that. <clears throat> Then, you're going to deflate the strut. Let me hold that and the paper. And this is gonna make a hydraulic mess, hydraulic fluid. So hold that towel under there. Yep. So now just take the pointy end of that, the pointy end, and stick it in there, and it'll let, and, and the strut's going to collapse now, so the airplane's going to go down. Yeah, there you go. And just hold it on there until it quits bubbling. There you go. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So now, that's step one. The strut is deflated. Step two is to, uh, you're done with that, this. Step two is to take that valve out. Yeah, and then it'll just, you can remove the socket and it'll just unscrew by hand there. Okay, so I'll take this and the valve. There should be a gasket on there. Yeah. Pull that gasket. Fifty six oh six fluid. Hold the rag under here, and you're going to fill it. The struts all the way collapsed. You're going to fill that completely full. Okay, oh, it, it might have been already. Yep, it's full. Okay, it's already full. So then we put this back in with a new with a new gasket. Nice and easy. Okay, now it gets torqued. Torque it to uh, Torque it to 15 foot pounds. Okay, that looks like 15. All right, 15 foot pounds. All right, now. The nitrogen bottle cart. You're gonna hook up that nitrogen hose Put it on that fitting. Tighten it as tight as you possibly can with your fingers because it's only a thumb nut on there. But you might have to wiggle that around a little bit 
but it's got to be tight. It is tight. Right? Yeah. Yep, I think that's it. Okay, so that's tight. Now, we come to the nitrogen bottle. And we're gonna make sure, turn this out. Turn it out until, yeah, that's probably out far enough. So we're gonna make sure that uh, that's out. This valve is closed, so that's closed. This would be open, that's a vent valve, and this is closed. Open this nitrogen bottle, open it one turn. Other way opens it. Okay, this gauge went up. This is the pressure in the bottle. So this bottle now has about 1,300 pounds per square inch of pressure in it. Okay, now with this closed, the vent valve closed, start turning this in and turn it in until you see this needle start to move so just you'll have to turn it a ways i think on this one keep turning keep turning keep turning when you see that needle start to move then stop turning okay mm, did it did it move yeah Try it a little more. Okay, very good. It moved ever so slightly. Now, okay, this is now what we're gonna do. You are looking for a particular, most of the time you're looking for a strut extension, a certain amount of extension on the strut. So I'm going to kick the tire to relieve the friction in the system, but I want you to slowly turn this regulator valve in. And as soon as you see the strut start to extend, just stop turning, okay? So start turning. Just we're looking for about three inches okay of extension or so okay that looks pretty good all right so we've got the strut extension that we want that's about three inches of extension now the next thing you do is you're going to take this take this valve and close it All the way. What up? Well, that's fine. Uh, then you're going to open this. We had a little leak. Open that. That'll relieve pressure. Yep. That relieves the pressure. Now you want to back this out. That's good. And now you want to take, yeah, you can close that. And now take the fitting back out. Take the, the fill line off. Put the cap back on. And the strut is serviced. 